abrupt Saturday video because my room is still a mess from being sicky and my lights aren't even plugged in from podcast night. Yes, indeed. I am no longer brutally sick. I got better, which is great. Um, but it did mean that I did not go anywhere for Exile Friday because I was still sort of recovering and catching up on work and etc. etc. So I was like, what the hell am I going to do for a video? And part of it was going to, is, is talking about stuff I watched while I was sick, because I just sort of sit there and absorb content like a sponge and get weirder and weirder and weirder as I do. Uh, I'm like 20 some odd episodes into uh, Day 9 TV's Mostly Walking. They're playing, uh, specifically their playthrough of Broken Age, which is fucking weird. They play adventure games, and you might know Broken Age as uh, that uh, Double Fine game that got kickstarted a few years ago. Uh, I haven't actually played it because I don't have the patience for adventure games, but I like watching people play them, and they're really funny. Uh, obviously, link in the show notes. You notice when you're sick that everything just sort of falls apart piece by piece, so when you get better you're like, cool, I'm better and I have a bunch of other stuff to do because I was a garbage human for a while. Well, that's what today is about because I'm going to fix all this stuff because I'm a garbage human. Um, but Excel Friday, I made a rule that I have to leave my house every Friday and I have to go somewhere in my town. You've seen that. I went to a rock band party. I went to... I don't even remember what. I'm um, doing some stuff later this month. I just sort of dig up an event or something that the friends are doing or I just go to a coffee shop and I read and I exile Friday. Oh, last week I went to an art opening. I just didn't get any good footage of it. Um, but it was super cool. It was at the Art District Gallery. I'll see if I can dig up a link for that in the show notes, too. And it's partly because I'm a super recluse. Like, I have a tendency to stay inside. I like going outside, but it's easier to stay at home. It's not even, like, how to have fun on a Friday night. It's just how to get out of your house and be a functioning human being on a Friday night. Which I think is the how to have fun on a Friday night once you're older than 30. <laughs> it makes me happy when I do it. But I did have to make a rule to do it, because otherwise I would just stay inside and play video games or edit videos. or uh, And that stuff's all important, but I can do that stuff other times. Friday night I can go out and like watch music, or read, or look at art, or hang out with friends. And Friday's just sort of the best night to do it because lots of other nights I have stuff going on or D&D or podcasting. So I would love to say that I'm the hip, cool Friday night guy. But I'm more like the set routine, try to be a responsible, functional human Friday night guy, which is not as exciting at all. It is a weird rule, uh, but it is working out. I've been doing it for a few months, and it makes me happy. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow with uh, the next episode of the Let's Freedom. And then Monday, we're going to talk about, I want to say parallel parking, but I haven't actually shot the video yet, so we'll see. I've written a couple of them. I'm just not sure which one I want to shoot this afternoon uh, or tomorrow, but we'll see. All right. I will see you tomorrow with video games. Oh, speaking of video games, there is a Jane Austen family-friendly mystery video game. Link in the show notes. YouTube showed it to me as an advertisement, but I haven't been able to find the YouTube video. You And all YouTube will show me now is ads for Call of Duty, which is way more boring than an actual boring Jane Austen game. Right? Link in the show notes. Alright, see you tomorrow.